Not many know that renowned actor Charles Bronson found success later in life. Despite facing hardships like poverty, he remained steadfast in pursuing his dream. After years of dedication, he finally made it big and left a lasting impact on the film industry. His story serves as an inspiration that perseverance can truly pay off. So, let's delve into some of this classic actor's most memorable roles. Charles Bronson, born as Charles Dennis Buczynski in Ehrenfeld, Pennsylvania, on November 3, 1921, was one of the most prolific actors in American cinema. He was the 11th child of Lithuanian immigrant parents, who eventually went on to have 14 children in total. Bronson's early life was marked by hardship and poverty, growing up in a close-knit family where resources were scarce. Despite these challenges, Bronson developed a strong work ethic and a determination to succeed. After finishing high school, he worked various jobs before being drafted into the United States Army Air Forces during World War II. Following his military service, Bronson returned home and began working in the coal mines near his hometown. However, his true passion lay in acting, and he soon moved to Philadelphia to pursue a career on stage. Over time, he landed small roles in films and television shows, gradually building a reputation as a talented actor. It wasn't until the late 1960s and early 1970s that Bronson truly became a household name. His breakout role came in the film The Dirty Dozen, which led to a string of successful movies, including Once Upon a Time in the West and Death Wish. These films cemented his status as a tough guy action star, known for his rugged good looks and steely gaze. Despite his success, Bronson remained humble and dedicated to his craft throughout his career. He continued to take on challenging roles and push himself as an artist even as he entered his later years. Today, his legacy lives on through his many iconic performances and his lasting impact on American cinema. Charles Bronson's childhood was marked by severe poverty, so dire were their financial circumstances that the children often had to share socks and clothing items. In fact, it wasn't uncommon for the boys in the family, including a young Charles, to wear dresses both inside and outside their home, even attending school in them. This was partly due to the lack of resources, but also because their father would shave their heads to prevent lice infestations. As a result, Charles' earliest memory of his father involves running to hide upon hearing his footsteps approaching, possibly in an attempt to preserve what little hair he had left. Growing up in these harsh conditions shaped Charles' perspective on life and undoubtedly contributed to his resilience and determination as he pursued a career in acting. Even from a young age, Charles Bronson faced hardship and responsibility. After losing his father at the tender age of 10, he stepped up to take his place in the mines. Due to his young age, he began by working in the mining office, handling paperwork and other tasks. As he grew older, however, Charles found himself drawn to the more physically demanding labor of working underground. He joined the ranks of the miners, putting all his effort into extracting coal from the depths of the earth. For every ton of coal he managed to bring to the surface, he earned just one dollar, a meager sum even by the standards of the time. Despite these challenging circumstances, Charles remained committed to his work. His dedication paid off, allowing him to hone his strength and resilience over the years. These qualities would later serve him well in his career as an actor, where he became known for playing tough unyielding characters who refused to back down, no matter what obstacles stood in their way. Charles Bronson, born in 1921 in Pennsylvania, was the son of Lithuanian immigrants who spoke their native language at home. Among his siblings, he stood out as the only one to complete his education and graduate. This achievement highlights Bronson's determination and drive even from a young age. His ability to speak English fluently also set him apart from his family members, making him a crucial communicator between them and the outside world. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout his life, Bronson's educational background served as a solid foundation for his successful acting career. His mastery of the English language allowed him to convincingly portray complex characters and deliver powerful performances in various films and TV shows. Overall, Bronson's early experiences shaped his future success and contributed to his lasting impact on the entertainment industry. And yet, there is still more to uncover about this classic actor's remarkable journey. Moreover, during World War II, the actor joined the army, where he found proper clothes and good food, which was a significant improvement from his earlier life. He served in the U.S. Army Air Corps, specifically in the 760th Flexible Gunnery Training Squadron and the 61st Bombardment Squadron. Over the course of his service, he participated in more than 25 missions, showcasing his dedication and bravery. 
Through this experience, he also learned to speak English properly, which helped him communicate better in his later career. His service was marked by significant recognition as he earned the Purple Heart, highlighting the sacrifices he made while serving his country. After being discharged from the army, Charles Bronson faced several post-army struggles. He took up various odd jobs to make ends meet, never losing sight of his dream to find his true calling. His life took an unexpected turn when he began painting sets in a theater in Atlantic City. This marked the start of his journey into the world of performing arts, which would later become his lifelong passion. At first, Bronson's acting career was limited to small roles in the theater, but he approached each opportunity with unwavering dedication and commitment. Despite facing numerous obstacles, including financial constraints and lack of formal training, nothing could deter him from pursuing his dreams. Eventually, his hard work paid off, and he made the bold decision to become a professional actor, determined to overcome whatever challenges came his way. Bronson's natural talent and charisma soon caught the attention of industry professionals, leading to more significant roles both on stage and screen. Over time, he became known for his intense presence and ability to convey complex emotions through subtle gestures and expressions. Today, his legacy lives on through his many memorable performances in films, and shows that continue to captivate audiences worldwide. In the early days of his career, the actor now known as Charles Bronson found himself in a challenging situation. During the time of Senator Joseph McCarthy's communist witch hunts, many actors feared being blacklisted due to their political beliefs. To avoid this fate, the aspiring star decided to change his last name. He took inspiration from a street sign, leading him to adopt the moniker Bronson, this new identity would help pave the way for his future success in Hollywood. One of Bronson's earliest roles came in the film, You're in the Navy Now. His unique talent of being able to burp on command caught the attention of casting directors, who specifically chose him for this skill. Although it may seem like an unusual talent to bring to the table, it proved to be enough to secure his spot in the production. However, despite his contribution to the movie, Bronson did not receive official credit for his part in You're in the Navy Now. Nonetheless, this marked the beginning of a long and storied career for the actor, one filled with memorable performances and unforgettable characters. In the early years of Charles Bronson's career, he found himself in a life-threatening incident while shooting a film in Mexico. Dressed in costume and holding a prop gun, Bronson was mistakenly detained by local authorities. This episode demonstrated the actor's unwavering dedication to his craft as he fully immersed himself into each role. Later in his career, Bronson took on the challenging part of Danny Valinsky in The Great Escape. His character suffered from severe claustrophobia and was responsible for digging tunnels to help prisoners escape POW camps during World War II. Interestingly enough, Bronson himself had experience working in coal mines during his youth, which may have helped him portray Valinsky more authentically. As he delved deeper into this complex persona, Bronson confronted his own hidden fears and anxieties, ultimately delivering a riveting performance worthy of recognition. Bronson continued to push boundaries throughout his illustrious career, taking on diverse roles marked by intensity and determination. Despite facing adversity along the way, including personal struggles and professional setbacks, he remained steadfast in his pursuit of excellence. In the early 1960s, the actor Charles Bronson found himself on the set of the classic film The Great Escape. During this time, he crossed paths with actress Jill Ireland, who was also part of the cast. Little did they know that this initial meeting would lead to a profound personal connection that would last for decades. Before their fateful encounter, Jill Ireland was already married to another one of the film's actors. However, fate had other plans, and years later, after going through a divorce, she and Bronson became close friends. Their bond deepened over time, culminating in a romantic relationship and eventual marriage. This union marked the start of a beautiful chapter in both of their lives. Following their wedding, the newlywed couple went on to act alongside each other in various projects throughout their careers. They shared screen time in numerous movies like This Property is Condemned, Villa Rides, and Breakheart Pass, creating memorable moments on camera while nurturing their love off-screen. Together, they formed a formidable duo in Hollywood, captivating audiences around the globe. Sadly, life had its share of challenges, and in 1984, tragedy struck when Jill Ireland passed away due to breast cancer. Despite being faced with unimaginable grief, Charles Bronson continued working and honoring his late wife's memory by dedicating some of his future roles to her legacy. 
To him, she will always remain an everlasting source of inspiration and cherished memories. Even today, the story of Charles Bronson and Jill Ireland serves as a testament to the power of friendship, love, and partnership in the face of adversity. Through thick and thin, these two remarkable individuals stood side by side, leaving behind a lasting impact on those fortunate enough to witness their incredible journey. Furthermore, Bronson's romantic life took another turn when he married for the third time, demonstrating his charm and appeal to women despite not fitting the mold of conventional handsomeness. His unique presence seemed to attract partners who appreciated his strong character and on-screen persona. This last marriage stood out, marking a significant chapter in his personal life. Alongside his relationships, the actor found himself embroiled in a legal situation that captured public attention. A woman bequeathed him a substantial $1 million in her will, which led to speculation and gossip surrounding their connection. To handle the matter discreetly and avoid the media frenzy that often followed his life, he opted to settle the case out of court. This choice reflected his desire to maintain privacy and keep unwanted scrutiny at bay, showcasing his preference for a quieter life away from the spotlight. In the early stages of his career, Charles Bronson found success in European cinema despite the lackluster performance of his films in America. The Magnificent Seven and The Great Escape, two of his most notable works during this time, established him as a formidable presence in the European film scene. However, it wasn't until much later that Bronson would make his mark in Hollywood. His big break came with the lead role in the controversial film Death Wish. This movie proved to be a turning point for the actor, propelling him into the limelight and giving him the recognition he deserved in the American film industry. Prior to Death Wish, Bronson had struggled to gain traction in Hollywood. Despite his talent and experience, he faced numerous obstacles in breaking through the competitive landscape of Tinseltown. But with Death Wish, everything changed. Not only did the film become a massive hit, but it also gave Bronson the confidence and clout he needed to establish himself as a leading man in Hollywood. Death Wish was more than just a successful film. It was a cultural phenomenon that resonated deeply with audiences. Its gritty portrayal of vigilante justice struck a chord with viewers, who were drawn to its unflinchingly brutal depictions of violence and revenge. And at the center of it all was Charles Bronson, delivering a powerful performance that cemented his status as a true Hollywood heavyweight. Following the success of Death Wish, Bronson became a household name in America. He went on to star in a string of successful films throughout the 70s and 80s, solidifying his place as one of the era's most iconic actors. From action flicks like Hard Times and Mr. Majestic to thrillers like Telephone and St. Ives, Bronson demonstrated his versatility and range as a performer, proving that he was more than just a tough guy with a grizzled exterior. Despite his many accomplishments in Hollywood, Bronson never forgot his roots in European cinema. Throughout his career, he remained committed to exploring diverse roles and genres, always pushing himself to grow and evolve as an artist. And while Death Wish may have been his ticket to stardom, it was ultimately his talent, determination, and passion for acting that made him a true legend of the silver screen. Charles Bronson, the actor known for his stoic demeanor, often chose movie roles that required him to speak few words. This suited his personality perfectly, as he was known for being quiet and reserved off-screen as well. His preference for minimal dialogue did nothing to diminish his impact on the audience. Rather, it added to his mystique and made them even more captivated by his performances. One example of this is the movie Hard Times, released in 1975, which saw Bronson earn a substantial sum of money, a cool $1 million. In this classic film, set during the Great Depression, Bronson plays the role of Cheney, a drifter who makes a living through bare-knuckle boxing. Despite speaking very little throughout the movie, Bronson manages to convey the character's strength, determination, and vulnerability, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. The success of Hard Times and other movies like it helped solidify Bronson's status as a financial powerhouse in Hollywood. He became known for demanding top dollar for his work and rarely disappointed those who invested in him. With each passing project, Bronson proved himself to be a dependable force in the industry, capable of delivering both critically acclaimed performances and impressive box office numbers. It's clear that Bronson's penchant for taking on stoic roles paid off handsomely, earning him not just critical acclaim but also significant financial rewards. Through his understated acting style and carefully chosen parts, he created a niche for himself as a strong, silent type whose presence commanded attention and respect. To this day, fans continue to appreciate 
and admire his contributions to cinema, recognizing the unique charm and allure that came to define his career. Known for his rugged appearance and tough guy roles, actor Charles Bronson also had his share of co-star conflicts. One notable incident involved James Coburn during the making of The Great Escape. Reportedly, the two actors clashed over methodology, but Bronson remained professional, refusing to allow disagreements to hinder his performance. Despite being typecast in rough and tumble parts, Bronson aspired to demonstrate versatility by appearing in films outside of his typical genre. This desire led him to take on the role of a sensitive father in Sean Penn's directorial debut, The Indian Runner, surprising audiences and critics alike. In this moving drama, he effectively conveyed vulnerability and emotional depth rarely seen in previous works, revealing a softer side of his acting ability. Throughout his career, Bronson maintained focus amid conflict and resisted being pigeonholed into specific character types. By exploring diverse roles, he left behind a rich body of work forever etching his place in cinema history. His story serves as proof that even those associated with one style can successfully venture beyond their established niche when given the opportunity. In the twilight years of his successful career, actor Charles Bronson took on a role in the 1991 film The Indian Runner. This movie offered him the chance to display his emotional range, veering away from the action-packed roles he was widely known for. Although it didn't make a significant impact at the box office, its significance lay in highlighting the versatility of this seasoned actor. Bronson's journey in Hollywood spanned over five decades, a time during which he became a symbol of rugged masculinity and grit. His work ethic was unparalleled, often taking on physically demanding roles even into his later years. Despite being associated primarily with hard-hitting action flicks like Death Wish, there was always more to Bronson than met the eye. The Indian Runner, directed by Sean Penn, gave audiences a different perspective of Bronson. He played a quiet but powerful character named Mr. Dorzak, who runs a roadside diner where much of the story unfolds. While dialogue is spare, Bronson manages to convey deep emotions through subtle expressions and body language, something critics lauded him for. Despite commercial failure, The Indian Runner remains special because it reflects back on Bronson's extensive oeuvre. Throughout his career, he had shown remarkable resilience and dedication towards honing his craft, earning respect and admiration both within and outside the industry. At the age of 78, after having appeared in countless iconic films and TV shows, Bronson could look back proudly upon his achievements. Reflecting on his life and career, Bronson undoubtedly felt content knowing he left behind a rich cinematic heritage. From humble beginnings growing up in Pennsylvania coal mines to becoming a celebrated Hollywood figure, he paved his way against all odds. With a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and numerous classics under his belt, he influenced generations of actors and directors alike. Even today, his influence continues to resonate strongly among fans and peers. As we reflect on Charles Bronson's illustrious career, what stands out most isn't just his talent or longevity, but rather his relentless determination and passion for acting. Known for his tough guy persona, few people were aware of the sensitive side of actor Charles Bronson. In contrast to his rugged image on screen, he had a deep appreciation for the arts, particularly painting. Using his original surname, Buczynski, he sold his artwork separately from his acting career and avoided cashing in on his fame. Throughout his life, Bronson often used painting as a way to distance himself from the public eye. When interviewed by journalists who sought personal details about him, he would resort to quietness or tell tall tales, leaving the reporters frustrated but intrigued. By doing so, he successfully diverted attention away from his private life and maintained his enigma in Hollywood. Despite his reticent demeanor, Bronson was known for his captivating performances in various films and shows throughout his illustrious career. His ability to portray complex emotions on screen made him a beloved figure among moviegoers and critics alike. Even today, his legacy continues to resonate with audiences around the world, solidifying his place as a true icon of cinema. Offscreen, however, Bronson remained a mystery to many, revealing little about himself beyond what he shared through his art. As such, his paintings serve as a window into his inner world, one that remains largely hidden from view even decades after his passing. Renowned for his professionalism, actor Charles Bronson was known to have a principled approach while working on movie sets. Despite facing accusations of unprofessional conduct during his career, Bronson remained steadfast in upholding his values. 
His commitment to his craft was evident in his work on the popular Death Wish franchise. However, tensions rose when he felt betrayed by the director, who introduced excessive gore into the films without prior consultation. Feeling undermined and misled, Bronson decided to walk away from the successful series, marking the end of his involvement with it. This decision reflected his strong stance against creative differences and demonstrated his unwillingness to compromise on matters of principle. Known for his rugged appearance and intense screen presence, Charles Bronson was not just an actor who feared germs and fires. His concern over hygiene led him to avoid handshakes, while his fear of fires made him insist on staying in hotel rooms on the second floor to evade getting trapped. These fears became particularly apparent during his collaboration with director Walter Hill. After voicing criticism towards Bronson's wife's acting, their relationship turned sour. Bronson took umbrage at the critique and developed a deep-seated mistrust towards Hill, resulting in a strained working environment. In fact, it even reached a point where the actor refused to shake hands with the director, exacerbating tensions further. Despite these apprehensions, Bronson remained one of Hollywood's most prominent figures throughout his career. He left an indelible mark in cinema history through numerous films and collaborations, cementing his status as a true cinematic legend. Yet beyond the camera lens, he grappled with personal anxieties that shaped his behavior both on and offset, making him more than just a celebrated star, but also a complex individual with unique phobias and concerns. After serving in the United States Army during World War II, Charles Bronson found himself back in civilian life working various odd jobs before discovering his true passion. But it was in Europe where the actor first gained fame and admiration from audiences. France held Bronson in particularly high regard, even going so far as to consider him a national treasure. Meanwhile, in Italy, he earned the nickname Il Bruto, which translates to the Oaf or the Brute. Despite these somewhat rough-sounding monikers, European fans saw something special in Bronson, a rugged charisma and quiet intensity that set him apart from other leading men of the time. As Bronson began to make a name for himself in European cinema, he turned to theater to hone his craft. He studied under renowned drama coach Lee Strasberg and became a fixture in New York City's off-Broadway scene. Eventually, Hollywood took notice and Bronson started appearing in American films, often playing tough guy roles that played up his strong, silent screen presence. Despite his success in America, Bronson never forgot his roots in European cinema. Over the course of his long career, he continued to work in both industries, earning critical acclaim and commercial success along the way. Today, his legacy lives on as a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor, inspiring generations of performers who have followed in his footsteps. Known for his rugged appearance and intense presence on screen, Charles Bronson was more than just an action hero. He held himself to high personal principles, which sometimes caused friction with film crews and directors. Despite being typecast as a tough guy, Bronson took his work seriously and conducted himself professionally on set. This meant showing up prepared and on time, treating everyone involved in the production with respect, and staying focused on delivering the best performance possible. Even when faced with delays or pranks by others, he remained patient and composed. One notable example occurred during the filming of The Magnificent Seven, where Bronson clashed with director John Sturges over creative differences. Rather than compromising his artistic vision, Bronson stood firm in his convictions and refused to back down. While this may have caused some tension at the time, it ultimately resulted in a stronger finished product. Off-camera, Bronson lived according to his own code of ethics. He believed in hard work, discipline, and self-reliance, values instilled in him during his childhood in Pennsylvania coal country. These traits served him well throughout his career, helping him overcome numerous challenges and achieve lasting success. Throughout his life, Charles Bronson proved that one can maintain their integrity while still thriving in the entertainment industry. His unwavering commitment to his craft and adherence to his personal beliefs make him a true role model for aspiring actors and artists alike. And so, even today, his legacy continues to inspire those who seek to follow in his footsteps. As Charles Bronson grew older, he began to focus more on his personal life and creative pursuits beyond acting. In his later years, the actor took on fewer roles, appearing in a smaller number of films compared to his prolific career earlier on. One of the reasons for this shift was his increasing interest in painting. Bronson had always been drawn to visual arts, and as he got older, he found more time to explore this passion. He created numerous paintings throughout his retirement, some of which were even displayed in galleries. 
Despite stepping back from the spotlight, Brunson still remained connected to his fans through his existing work. His classic films continued to resonate with audiences around the world, introducing his talent to newer generations who discovered this iconic actor through reruns and home video releases. Throughout his career, Charles Bronson left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. But in his final years, he chose to spend his time away from the public eye, dedicating himself to his art and cherishing the quiet moments with his loved ones. Even so, his legacy lived on through his timeless performances, inspiring many aspiring actors and artists.